uh, good evening to everyone today we are going to see about electrical drive system uh, electrical drive system electrical drive system is nothing but we are going to control an electric motor by using a power electronic devices is nothing but electrical drive system before getting into the electrical drive system we must know what is mean by electrical drive what is mean by electrical the system employed for motion control are called drives for example uh, for uh, any kind of system we have a uh, different types of prime mover may they be a diesel engine or petrol engine or gas or steam engine or hydraulic motor or electrical motor right so if you employing a electrical motor for a drive the drives employing electrical motors are known as electrical drive drives employing electrical motor are known as electrical drive let's see here what is the advantage of electrical drive system there are so many systems are there how it is advantage when compared to the other systems if it is a flexible control characteristics the electrical drive system is having that means it is having a steady state and dynamic characteristics it is uh, depends upon the load requirement we can control that one right it may be uh, can be provided with automatic fault detection also plc and computers can be also employed for automatic control the drive operation in the desired sequence we need a wide range of torque a wide range of speed and wide range of power that's why we come to the electrical drive for example we have an electrical power uh, there is a mechanical power if you see a motor it is nothing but the speed torque and the speed is nothing but the mechanical power if you see a electrical power is nothing but the voltage and current so by controlling the voltage and current we are going to control the torque speed and the power so the output characteristic is controlled by the input one the input parameter the input parameter is nothing but here the voltage and control how this voltage and control or voltage and current are controlled me the voltage and current are controlled by means of power electronic devices that is a reason Uh, this is one of the electrical drive system is one of the application of power electronics so by using a power electronic devices we are controlling a drive that is called as electrical drive nowadays with the most of the electrical vehicles the battery operated so we are controlling that one by means of this one uh, by means of power electronic devices it can have a four quadrant operation we know that four quadrant operation is nothing but forward motoring forward braking reverse motoring and reverse braking so all the four quadrants application all the four quadrants the speed torque plane is possible using a electrical drive system so it can be started instantly and can be immediately fully loaded it's not like a, a other systems because of this electrical motor is running we can start the motor instantly we can load the motor suddenly also so the control gear requirement is nothing but starting and braking is usually very simple and easy to operate now you see where we can use these applications of electrical drives we know that it is large number of industrial and domestic applications in nowadays uh, because of the advancement of batteries we are going for a what to say electrical vehicles and all so this electrical drive system in the recent advancement uh, we are nowadays everything is going to be changed to electrical buses electrical trains you know that uh, then battery driven solar powered vehicles everything we are using so instead of that they are using a drives in rolling mills paper machines textile mills machine tools fans pumps robots and washing machines etc now today's class actually this is the application of power electronic how a general electrical drive system will operate yeah this is nothing but the general electrical system we have a see here first one we have a source power modulator motor load sensing unit and control unit source if you see a source we have a two types of sources one is ac source another one is dc source right you see a motor a motor we have a, several motors are there if you say on based on the supply we have an ac motor and dc motor right in dc motor again we have a, so many types a separately excited and self excited in self excited we have a dc series motor shunt motor and compound motor like that and if you come to a ac motor it is having a single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor 
And if you come to a three phase induction motor, again, we have a slip ring induction motor, spool gauge induction motor. So there are variety of motors are available and special machines can be operate both on AC and DC also, that is switch reluctance motor, uh, stepper motor, are so many kinds of motors are available. So what is the ultimate aim here? We have in source, the source is known, whether we having an AC source or DC source. Then motor. Motor, we may be AC motor or a DC motor or some sort of kind of special electrical machines. For example, suppose it is a DC motor. The motor is nothing but a DC motor. I am having an AC supply. Source is AC. How an AC supply is given to the DC motor? Practically, it is not possible. So we need to convert an AC into DC. So how which device is to convert an AC to DC? That is nothing but rectifier. So here, the power modulator is nothing but a rectifier. But rectifier, we cannot control the rectifier because there is no gate terminal. We cannot control the output. So we can use an SCR to control the output characteristics. So suppose we are having an AC supply. This is motor is DC supply. To convert an AC into DC, we use a rectifier here. Right? Suppose uh, the motor is operating under 220 volt. Right? We are having a 100 volt supply, 100 volt. So that voltage can be also increased. For example, it is a DC motor. It is operating under 220 volt. We have the input of 100 volt DC. We need to step up. That is nothing but chopper. The power modulator is chopper. That means a fixed DC voltage to variable DC voltage. Here, 100 voltage DC input is given, changed to 220 DC voltage. Similarly, if it is an AC source, it is an AC motor, we can use a AC to AC converter here. That is a phase modulator. We can use a AC converter here. Similarly, we can go for a, a DC to, if you suppose the source is DC, the motor is AC, the power modulator. So to convert an DC to AC, we need an inverters. So inverter we can use here as a power modulator to control the motor parameters. Okay, now we see, we see in the different types of source and different types of modern power modulator and different types of uh, motor we see in the next slide. Now, how it is functioning? Suppose I want to drive the motor to 1500 RPM, right? So it is connected to the load. So I am sensing what is the speed of the motor. And the sensing is given to the control unit. The control unit is given to the power modulator. So ultimate aim is to, I want to run the motor at 1500 RPM. So sort of now increase in the load, the motor speed drastically reduces. For example, for the increase in the load, the motor uh, speed is changed to 1300 volt. Sorry, 1300 RPM, 1300 RPM. So I am sensing that I am giving to the control unit. But the input command, I want to run the motor at 1500, but when you're sensing, it is only 1300. The balance is 200, 200 RPM. The 200 RPM, correspondingly, I have to boost it up. The 200 RPM, you know that N is proportional to V. By changing the voltage, we can change the speed. How we can change the voltage? By changing the firing angle. VDC is equal to 2 Vm by pi cos alpha. So by changing the firing angle, we can change the voltage. By changing the voltage, we can change the speed of the motor. So like that way it is working. It is the actual speed is sensing and it is given to the control unit. It is matching with the input command, 1500. The remaining, the balance is nothing but the 200. So according to that, we are giving to the input signal to the power modulator, that is firing pulse. So by changing the firing angle, we can change the DC voltage. By changing the DC voltage, we can change the speed of the motor. Like that way it will work. So the main parameters here is nothing but source, power modulator, motor, load, sensing unit, control unit. Now you will see what are the types of sources available, what are the different types of power modulators are there, uh, what are the different types of motors are available, everything. Yeah, you see here, like what I said, electrical machines, uh, as far as different speed control applications, we can use a DC machine, shunt, series, compound, and separately excited, and switch reluctance machine. That is nothing where uh, switch reluctance machine is using. If you use a shunt motor, it is used only for constant speed. Wherever we need a constant speed, we we'll use a shunt motor. If you use a serious motor, it is used for high starting torque. Wherever the high starting torque is required, we will use a serious motor. 
compound motor it is having the application of both shunt and series that means we can go for constant speed and at the same time we go for high starting torque high starting torque what is mean by high starting torque to pull a heavy load we need a high starting torque that is nothing but so the mixture of shunt and series is nothing but a compound motor then we have a separately excited dc motor that based on the excitation we can control the motor then switch reluctance machine it always move towards the low reluctance path that is a function of switch reluctance motor then come to the ac machines we have a induction motor and wound motor wound motor is nothing uh, screw gauge induction motor and synchronous it's nothing but a synchronism constant speed and permanent magnet synchronous and synchronous reluctance motor uh, these are the varieties of them. ac machines and if you come to the special machine we have a brushless dc motor stepper motor and switch reluctance motor so we have an electrical source i already told very low power devices are generally fed from single power single phase sources if we need a high power drive we can get it from three phase supply right for higher ratings motors are nothing but 3.3 kv 6.6 kv and 11 kv some drives are operated from battery also you see a function of power modulator right the power modulator flow from power to the source to the motor in such a way the motor is imparted a speed or characteristics required by the load that means we are controlling the motor output characteristics speed and torque by controlling the current and voltage the current and voltage can be controlled by means of firing angle here the transient operation transient operation for uh, short period of time for, for example how the vehicle is starting how much a time it takes to apply a brake and how much it takes times to reversal of speed and it restricts the source and motor current within the permissible limit right uh, the mode of operation of the motor is nothing but motoring and braking that is the mode of operations here then type of power modulator i already told if you want to ac to dc that is nothing but the control rectifier if it is a dc to ac is nothing but an inverter and ac to ac is nothing but an ac voltage controller and fixed dc to variable dc is nothing but a dc chopper and fixed frequency to variable frequency is nothing but a cyclo converter then sensing unit we have a different speed sensing torque sensing position sensing and current sensing and voltage sensing in the lines uh, these are the different types of sensing units then we come to the load load side we have a load torque also so we are uh, measuring the load torque also that is nothing but torque sensing if i increase in the load what happens there is a increase in the current whenever the increase in the current the temperature is also rising that is we have a temperature sensing unit also is required in the side of load then next we are seeing a control unit control unit control unit is nothing but we are going to control the power modulator based on the uh, controlling the power modulator only we are going to drive the motor that is nothing but a uh, electrical drive a system employed for motion control is nothing but electrical so we are controlling a motor the controlling action is done by by means of power electronic devices that means whenever we change a firing angle we are changing the voltage whenever we are changing the voltage it is nothing but n is proportional to v the speed is directly proportional to voltage when the voltage is changing correspondingly the speed is also changing when the speed is changing automatically what we desired speed we can attain in the motor like that way it will function thank you we'll see in the next